Do you wanna push your endurance to new heights? Whether you're an athlete, runner, cyclist, or just someone looking to improve your overall fitness, optimizing your VO2 max can make a significant difference. So what exactly is VO2 max and how can you improve it for maximum benefits? In this video, we're gonna break down everything that you need to know. We'll discuss what is VO2 max, the short-term strategies for improving VO2 max, the long-term strategies for improving VO2 max, and how to combine short and long-term strategies strategically to build fitness over time. And we'll also add some pro tips at the end to get the absolute most out of your training. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with what is VO2 max? And VO2 max is your maximum oxygen oxygen uptake during intense exercise. In simpler terms, it's the highest amount of oxygen that your body can utilize during activity. And this number is a powerful indicator of your cardiovascular fitness and your aerobic endurance. And according to Peter Atia in his book, Outlive, it's also the best predictor of longevity. VO2 max is determined by two factors. One is cardiac output or the blood flow per minute. This is how efficiently your heart pumps blood to your muscles. Basically the volume of blood that's circulating through your body every minute. And then the second factor is oxygen extraction or the amount of oxygen that your muscles extract from your blood. This measures how efficiently your muscles are using the oxygen that they're delivered. So VO2 max is the combination of those two numbers, your cardiac output multiplied by your AVO2 difference, which we said is your oxygen extraction rate. Now, if you wanna improve these numbers and improve your VO2 max, you'll have to decide between the short-term strategy and the long-term strategy. When it comes to short-term strategies, interval training is one of the most efficient ways to boost your VO2 max quickly. Intervals involve alternating between high intensity efforts and periods of rest. Here's a VO2 max specific interval strategy to try. After warming up for about 10 minutes, start intervals with three to five minutes at near 100% of your VO2 max. This is an intensity that should feel very challenging to maintain, but not impossible. Importantly, this doesn't mean sprinting, rather this is a pace that you could run at, for example, around six to eight minutes. But you just wanna push for five minutes here, and you wanna use a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. So for example, you're pushing hard for five minutes and then taking five minutes of active recovery, maybe walking. You can repeat this interval about four to eight times depending on your current fitness level. This type of training at a relatively high intensity pushes your heart rate and your muscles to adapt, improving your cardiac output and the oxygen use over a relatively short period of time. But remember, while intervals are great for rapid improvement, long-term progress requires a different approach involving low-intensity steady-state aerobic training. These low-intensity steady-state sessions should last between 40 and 90 minutes for most people and should be done at a comfortable pace around 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. This type of training enhances your body's aerobic capacity by upregulating aerobic enzymes, which help in energy production. It also increases hemoglobin levels for a better oxygen transport. Finally, this also builds more mitochondria in your muscle cells, which is the powerhouse for endurance. Over time, these adaptations improve your muscle's ability to utilize oxygen more efficiently, leading to a gradual but significant over time increase in VO2 max. The real magic though happens when you combine both strategies by alternating between higher intensity intervals and steady state aerobic sessions within your training plan, you can really maximize your VO2 max gains. For example, you might schedule two days a week with intervals and two to three days a week of long, slow aerobic sessions. This combination provides your body with the stimuli it needs for both quick adaptations and long-term endurance gains. Okay, here are a few pro tips to keep in mind. Consistency is key. Improving VO2 max is a gradual process, so stick to your training plan and also listen to your body because recovery is important between training sessions. Make sure that you're not overtraining and you're not seeing spikes in your mileage of more than about 10% between any two weeks. Remember, you wanna give your body just enough to adapt, but not so much that you're gonna cause fatigue or injury. Okay, so to recap, short-term gains in VO2 max come from intense intervals around a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. For example, three to five minutes on, three to five minutes rest, or about four to eight times depending on your fitness level. But especially to make progress long-term, you also wanna include those steady state aerobic endurance sessions where you're sustaining a relatively lower pace for longer sessions around 40 to 90 minutes. And you can combine both of these approaches together for the best results. 
results. If you want to improve your VO2 max, but also hit strength PRs, then I would invite you to join our hybrid athlete program. We have athletes all over the world getting strong, athletic, and competing in endurance events. And as soon as you sign up, the hybrid athlete program will be available to view on your Train Heroic calendar within the app. This way, you'll know exactly what to do when you get to the gym. We've built in sensible progressions, so that way you're not overtraining at any time period, and you're consistently building towards strength and endurance PRs. You can use the code HYBRIDATHLETE2025 to get 20% off when you sign up. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. Subscribe so I'm missing future videos, and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks.